What's up, YouTube? Dr. Dirk. Today we are gonna do a segment on tools. We have our enclosed trailer all cleaned out. We're gonna get it all nice and tidy for the season. And a lot of the tools that we have in here, you don't necessarily need to do the job, but it makes the job a lot better often. So when you see this, this is strictly for this is a hardscape setup. Some tools aren't necessary, but overall I've got a pretty, it's, a, it's not great, but it get, it's, it's good enough for me. I've got the right tools to do almost any job. There are tools that I could have that I would like to have, but I can't afford right now. But we're gonna put every tool that we put in there, we're gonna give a cost and a projected maintenance cost for the year on it to give other contractors who want to start their own business uh, an idea of kind of what you what what you can have or you know just kind of gauge the cost of doing a certain trade and then for homeowners it kind of gives them a you know it it shows you how much tools and how much cost you actually have and uh, you know so a lot of times you'll never see it but you know we're going to do it to just educational purposes and Hopefully you like it. So the first section that we're gonna do and take inventory on is this, so we're gonna call it box one. We're gonna add it up as we go. So we've got the sweeper, probably five bucks. Trowels, what do we got the trowels at? Probably 30 bucks for two trowels. We use those for concrete edges and a bunch of good stuff. We've got these clamps right here. These are probably 50 bucks each, probably on the cheap side. This allows you to pick up a ton of bricks super easy and speeds uh the time up we've got four of those 200 bucks we got the chisel and a nice mason hammer for block and a regular hammer we probably got 75 bucks there easy these are not cheap these mason hammers paint probably 15 bucks worth of paint for marking out lines we got these pads these are for uh these are for my buddy's mom just kidding uh we got this uh to clean the pavers off and just clean honestly probably 15 bucks there so between all of that we probably got first box we got 470 dollars and that's probably on the cheap side because i bought all of this stuff probably three times so 500 bucks for box one all right so here is the second box again these are not tools we use every day a lot of these are not needed but we got a light, comes in handy. We'll use this vacuum to clean our cabs out of the machine so it's nice and tidy. We use a little leaf blower for poly sand. We use this saw to uh, make you know, cuts before we use the big saw, it's more tedious. We got a nailer, don't use it often. Circular saw, we use it all the time for random stuff. Hammer drill, awesome. We got the grinder and multi-tool, drill and impact, router for specialty cuts. Bigger impact for taking uh, lug nuts off. Air pump, always popping tires and running low, so nice to have that. Grease gun, grease all the machines, all the batteries. This is about four grand worth of stuff, believe it or not. Adds up fast. Our vac right here, our vac was about $1,500. That picks up pavers and it allows you to get a way better set. Best tool I think I've ever purchased, hands down. We got our laser, I think that was 900 bucks. We got our saw that was, I think, 1200 And then a trimmer, just a shrub trimmer, I think that was 500 bucks. So that brings us to 4100 for this little tiny section of four tools. All right, we've got our Milwaukee pack out. This just has a bunch of fabric stakes, pins in it all the way up. We run through a lot of pins, so it's easier just to carry it around in that. We've got a box of miscellaneous, just oil, mixed gas, hydraulic fluid, grease, trash bags, paint, mixed pre-mixed fuel, starter fluid, um, a burner, just in case we could use this stuff all the time. So it's nice to have it all organized in here. Booyah. Sorry, folks, we got a little bit carried away. We got a couple shovels, a couple buckets, and some basic tools. Got all of our crowbars, all of our rebar. Got the toolbox filled with all of our stuff. 
built this for the screed poles for the pavers to slide in there and kind of contains everything and yeah it's pretty open and clean i don't like uh having too much stuff it's pointless but then we'll get all of our compactors in here for the the rolling one and the regular one but yeah you probably between that and the trailer you probably have like 25 grand here so and it's not even that much stuff sucks